All right, we're live, and we'll wait for a few people to join. We're in very sunny and warm Tucson, Arizona this week at the Arizona K-12 Center's Tech Camp. And we have 125 teachers here that are uh, involved in different learning strands. Uh, we have making infographics, uh, uh, making your websites awesome, and then another strand where they're making task cards. And I'd like to introduce you to Kat Barrett. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and uh, I thought we'd talk to her about what she's learning in a strand called uh, making your work published. So uh, I'll give you the microphone. Perfect. I came to camp kind of with a purpose. Um, over at Betty Fairfax High School, it will be December of 2015, we're going to be coming up with a STEM project, working with our ELL student population. And currently I'm with John, um, both Johns, John uh, Spencer and John Samuelson, who are on Twitter too, and they're teaching us wonderful information. In this first one, we have um, John showing us the four different types of blogs to write. And the one that I'm hoping to accomplish will be the expert and the advocacy, as we kind of blend a little bit of the uh, genius hour in with the STEM type project that we'll be doing and hopefully bringing forth that research. So learning this um, strand, I'm learning what's needed in a blog and you need to have a catchy title of course and um, the proper grammar and so the students will actually be writing this project and what they're learning during the STEMS project that we're working with. And of course I have a picture of the lovely resort because everyone here is all about relax mode so you can't get frustrated which is helpful because I've never written a blog or been published before. And so you need to relax, remember, take deep breaths. Tomorrow we're going to be venturing into podcasting, and we're going to be learning how to connect those reader theater moments, which with our ELL population is always important because of those multiple meaning of words. And so on the podcast, it's going to be real interesting to hear in December what the students are learning with their STEM project based on this application that we're going to take forward with their publishing. And we have John um, Samuelson working with he's formerly a, iPad Sammy. Yes, maybe, and maybe you remember him as as that. He's John Samuelson. He's the host of the Techlandia podcast. Yes, and that's the great thing is because you have two co-facilitators in the room, and he's very organized with lists, which is great for me because I'm always like I need to know he's where I'm at, this. and he's perfect. And then you have John Spencer, who's very. Um, what do I want to call that? He's a very geometric and abstract thinker. And I'm just like, just give me another John. And so <laughs> I breathe deep with my list. And here's a checklist that we have about our progress, about where we're going to be at each step of the way for each day. So it's self-paced, which I love. And I'm going to take that back and embed that with the students, too, because what's modeled here is carried out in the classroom. And that's just ever important, because it's a professional manner. And it helps me reflect where I'm at, where I'm headed to the next day, where I need to be on Friday, and how I can take this into the classroom. And my principal, Phil Woolley, will be so happy because I'll be organized and he'll have his continuous improvement plan ready to go with our ELL <laughs> students and our number scoring. But um, not just that, we also will hopefully connect with other districts outside of Phoenix Union. And we're looking at Agua Fria to connect with. We're looking at Fountain Hills to connect with, with this project. And that's why I like to come to this camp, too, is all the connections and networks that are made, and you learn new ideas. And so it just keeps fostering more and more growth. So this is my seventh year here. That was, the, that was my know, question. Yeah. How many years have you been at, at camp? This is uh, Camp Plug and Play 10.0, so it's been 10 summers that uh, the Arizona K-12 Center has offered this camp, and I'm really lucky that I've been part of every single camp they've had. Yes, you have a fan club. <laughs> I'm a huge fan club. <laughs> and, uh, but I've been here seven, so, but each time I come, I come with like a purpose to know where I'm headed to next in the classroom. And Phoenix Union actually gave me my start with Arizona K-12 through because you have a Master Governor Teacher Program. And this year I'm hoping to embark onto the National Board Certification process too with this STEM project that I have coming out in December. And I'm hoping that that project will leap start other people who are kind of unsure of how to use STEM in the classroom with ELLs with that focus. That's awesome. Let's, okay. charge, let's, hear, let's turn around. Okay. You never want the light to be uh, there. Now, we, now they can see oh, us yeah, really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so th they've been giving you hearts the whole time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Less glare. So, so um, any questions for Kat here? 
and we give them time to type. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. In the title of this broadcast is her Twitter name, which is. It's Readers Lead PD. Le Read, yeah, sorry. Readers and lead PD. Yeah. Gotcha. And I'm under Tony, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's been doing a lot of tweeting for our hashtag for Camp Plug and Play, which is hashtag AZK12. Well, if there aren't questions, there are people having a break. We, we, we try to feed people really well here, so we'll walk and maybe just talk to some more people in a moment. But uh, a question, what uh, grade do you work with again? Oh, right now, this coming year, I'll be working with ninth through 12th graders, and then my focus is going to be that RTI, the bottom 25% in our high school, and then to bump them up and then, of course, modify it up for the international baccalaureate students. But my experience ranges from grades K all the way through 12th. That's great. All right, well, let's let's walk around here, and while we're, while we're walking to see everybody else, there's another question. Um, are you doing Genius Hour with your students? Um, you know, I'm going to try it. I've never fully can say I've done done it. Um, my experience has been with AVID and that advocacy kind of hour, but with Genius Hour, we do have a presenter presenting at Ignite. So be sure if we can periscope that, uh, that that would be a good presentation. So there's an Ed Camp in Chandler. Yeah, are you going to that? No, there's one global that's going to be online in Twitter, uh -huh. and I'm trying to think. It's If you follow my picture on Twitter, it has the little icon on there, but I think the girls are doing it out of the East Coast. Well, oh, maybe yeah, she's there trying There is an Ed Camp channel. That's cool. Um, okay. We'll have to check that out. Yeah. yeah. See all over. It's global. Uh, yeah. It's a global <laughs> one. Oh, yeah. Cool. Chandler. Chandler High School. <laughs> oh, okay. Way to go, Chandler. Yeah. <laughs> we like you, too. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We'll we'll walk around and see see if anybody else will will talk to us while we're having this break. Maybe people aren't outside because it's probably what 102 oh, degrees here. Oh, there are there are some people out. The, we're at the Westward Look Resort, and it's just we've had camp here about every year, and it's, it's oh yeah, let's you. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, do, do you do you mind uh, being broadcast online? All right. Uh, so we have about 23 people here uh, watching, and uh, they're learning a little bit about Tech Camp, and they just just learned all about Cat and some of the things she was doing. Um, you you want to introduce yourself and uh, tell us something you've learned from Camp? Okay. My name is Meg Cullum. Um, I'm a fifth fifth grade teacher. Um, fifth grade, awesome. si yeah, it is um, <laughs> science, and I just think I'll really be able to use some of the things I've learned. Uh, in terms of like blogs and a, a newer website, because I'm realizing mine is in pretty bad shape right now. Don't you think? You guys think it's a little, yeah. Um, Websites are I, they're always a work in progress. Yeah. So I will modernize it now, and I have yeah. the tools to do that. So that's great. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad you're here. And fifth grade's a good grade. That's that's what I taught. <laughs> and you, what what's better, the cookie or the pretzel? The cookie is better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, how, how about you? Tell us who you are and uh, what have you learned so far this week? Patty McFeely, and um, I teach six. And I'm using finding ways, as Meg said, also to find, find new ways to utilize my websites and stuff and to try utilizing the students more, having them do more creating as opposed to me dictating what they have to do. Yeah. In, in, in my website, when I taught fifth grade, at the time, everybody was naming their websites like Mr. Vincent's Fifth Grade. And so I made sure to call it something completely different. I didn't want it to just be mine. I wanted the students to have ownership of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And tell us who you are and, and what have you learned this week. I'm Jennifer, and I'm a media teacher in Paradise Valley. And I'm learning ways to get my kids' work out there for people to see and look at to make it something important and valuable for them. And, and what's one way to get it out? Oh, blogging. Um, we've got this excellent teacher over here, John Spencer, and he's showing us some really cool ways to make it authentic. So, so John, I want to do a whole separate Periscope with you one day, but I know if people see you on here, they're going to want to, want to hear something. Um, tell us what you've taught people today. Um, my hope is that they have been able to just kind of experiment with creating their own blog slash website um, and um, that they've been thinking a little bit differently about um, kind of reaching an authentic audience. Sounds like you've done that. <laughs>
authentic teachers. That's right. <laughs> well, our break time is almost done here. Uh, we'll, is, uh, is John on Twitter? Yes. And it's at Spencer Ideas now, right? Yeah. It used to be Ed Rethink, and now it's Spencer Ideas. So check him out. He has really great stuff. And we'll, if, if I can twist his arm, we'll be, we'll be talking to him and the other John, John Samuelson, in another broadcast. <laughs> it, this is a new iRig microphone, yeah. It's HD, yeah, not just regular D, HD. <laughs> All right, <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs>